I think the biggest draw for me for Vanderbilt has actually been Vice, right? Um, where else do you get a top-notch engineering program? Again, down the street from a high-ranking medical center, right? That's within walking distance. It's, it's very rare to have that anywhere in the United States. My name is Kenny Tao. Um, I run the Diagnostic Imaging and Image Guided Intervention Lab, or DigiLab. We develop optical imaging technologies for um, diagnostics and therapeutic guidance. So we do a little bit of work in cancer, um, but most of our work is primarily um, in the eye. So we do a lot of ophthalmic imaging. So the main focus of our lab for the last few years has been to integrate this technology for surgical guidance. So you have all these surgeons essentially doing neurosurgery through a seven millimeter pupil under a microscope in a field that's poorly lit and poorly visualized, right? So any additional contrast we give them is hugely impactful. So we've been building these imaging tools into surgical microscopes for ophthalmology, and that allows surgeons to visualize tissue structures in three dimensions during surgery. So we can actually encode things like position, relative position of surgical instruments to a feature of interest, even beneath the surface as a color contrast or a depth position marker, and then overlay that onto their surgical field so they can know exactly where they are in three dimensions. And that increased visualization gives them a lot of um, new information to change their clinical decision making in real time. We like to think that what we're doing now is actually the middle ground between what they need to do now, which is fully manual surgery, to what we imagine the future to be, which is fully robotic and automated surgery. To bridge those two worlds, we actually need a imaging modality to essentially tell the robots what they're looking at, right? And to be able to see what the surgeons see. Um, and so that's really what the technology allows and enables is to see structures on micron levels live during surgery. Right now, we're trying to feed that information back to the surgeons to become better surgeons. Um, but one day, we can envision taking that technology and helping robots see what surgeons see now.